Hey guys, it's Sadie, Colby, and Cole tonight. Yeah. And we are so excited that um, we can have Cole on the show and next week hopefully John Luke too. So we're adding on to the group. But anyway, Cole's gonna share a passage that he had on his heart tonight and hope y'all get something from it. All right, this is when Jesus tells the parable of the seeds. It says, this, uh, now listen to the explanation of the parable about the farmer planting seeds. The seed that fell on the footpath represents those who hear the message about the kingdom and don't understand it. Then the evil one comes and snatches away the seed that is planted in their hearts. The seed on the rocky soil represents those who hear the message and immediately receive it with joy. But since they don't have deep roots, they don't last long. They fall away as soon as they have problems or are persecuted for believing God's word. The seed that fell among the thorns represents those who hear God's word, but all too quickly the message is crowded out by the worries of this life and lure of wealth so no fruit is produced. The seed that fell on the good soil though represents those who truly hear and understand God's word and produce a harvest of 30, 60, or even 100 times as what had been planted. That's found in Matthew 13, 18 through 23. 23, 20. Yeah. Around there. Yeah. And it's really good to go back and look at that and just find out which person you are right now and shape your life around the one that you want to be, which is, of course, the seed that takes it all in and shares it with everyone. But really, that's like a great passage to just look in and really put your life and what you're doing, like kind of put it together and see w how it relates to your life and how what things you need to change. And sometimes it's hard to like tell yourself that you're doing something wrong in this part if you're a stubborn person, but sometimes it's best to just be hard on yourself. Just reflect, reflect on your life and go also to the passage, which is a little bit before that, and just read the passage and try to just, you know, study and like she said, just be like, okay, which seed am I? And hopefully you're good seed. If not, that's okay. We haven't all been the good seed. I know I haven't. And it's okay to not be. Just recognize it, realize it, and change. And it's, you know, there's, you might not, uh, everyone may not be the same seed, but, you know, people are different seeds, but there are other people that are out there that are the same seed as you. And so, so don't think that you're the only one sh going through what you're going through. So, there's always someone out there that's going through what you're going through, so you, you just got to communicate and let them know. Sometimes it's best to just share it with somebody because you never know what somebody's going through. Like, you'll, I mean, of course, sometimes like we'll keep stuff to ourselves and we don't want to tell anybody and we're like, oh, they might judge me or something. But then when you finally open up and you say something and you realize that they're going through the exact same thing, it really helps and encourages you to know somebody's there with me and we're going to get through it together. So. Challenge point for this week is which seed are you? See you next week. Thank you.